Now let's get into Mike, the lady who messaged you and said basically that her property was damaged from something that your text had done. So boom. yeah, and you know this most of my communication is through text message or email with with customers, and and this is actually um, a customer that we've we've you know we've taken care of their property for for many years, and and she was a referral from another customer, long term customers, and you know never an issue. They call, they say, hey, when can you do it? I say whenever we get them on the schedule send them out, invoice comes, they pay, end the discussion. Um, and then this time, A, she kind of tried to beat me up on price because I did go up on price um, in the initial um, text exchange. You know, I said, okay, yeah, but the price is going to, I think it was $75. My wife just got home. She tried to beat me up on price. And because of that, um, you know, your, your guard's always a little bit up. Anytime, you know, big price becomes an issue, um, especially after you've been in the game for a while and you've kind of honed in on who your ideal customers are, price becomes less of an issue and convenience becomes more of an issue. Customer service, the relationship, all of those things. And so, you know, $75, not a lot of money, but she was like, oh, well, can we do, you know, can you only increase it by $50? And I was like, yeah, that's fine. So the next message I get after the job a couple of days later uh, is this, Justin. And it's like, hey, the house uh, just got pressure washed and they missed a, a wasp's nest on the side of the house. Uh, they also knocked a piece of siding loose and punched a hole in another. The employee said you would come collect payment. So I get this. And there's that little thing. And I'm, I'm thinking, OK, I know our process. I know that there is nothing that we could have done ever in any capacity whatsoever that could punch a hole through vinyl. Just impossible. Like maybe a red tip. If you were like right up on top of it and really spent some time trying to, you know, cause damage. We don't have red tips and it's just not not possible. So I pulled up the inspection form. I went through it. And I found the exact same picture, but the actual inspection form, it had, Mac had taken the, this almost this exact picture of that same hole. And so I was like, no, it didn't. Uh, we didn't knock a hole. Um, and I explained the, the pre-inspection and take photographs of the entire house uh, of any imperfections. Um, so, of course, obviously, after, you know, I, I explained that um, she was, under, you know, understood. But had it gone further, then I would have just sent her the pre-inspection and she could have seen it because it's time stamped and dated as well. So you guys can see how a crisis was averted simply by making sure everything was documented before the job because, you know, you punched a hole in my house. That's kind of funny that she worded it that way, but obviously yeah. you didn't. Like, how, Mike, how much, you know, if you didn't have the pre-inspection form and it was your word versus hers, how much do you think it would cost to kind of resolve this issue? You'd have to have somebody come out there you know, match the siding color, replace the siding, like hundreds of dollars, right? Yeah, a couple hundred, hundred bucks dollars. for sure. I mean, it would it would probably knock away almost all of your profit from a job like that for sure.